Welcome everyone to Genesis with Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out a video entitled 10 Laws in Thailand to be aware of. Thank you so very much for subscribing, of course, to Genesis with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, definitely leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. So this was a video request to react to the video speaking of 10 laws in Thailand to be aware of. <coughs> Okay. So let's get started. So the first one is quite an obvious one. Drugs. Yeah. Drugs in Thailand, don't buy them, don't take them. Don't Makes sense. Them, don't import them, yeah. don't export them. No drugs. If you do, they still have a death sentence policy here in Thailand. Now you're not necessarily going to... Death sentence for drugs? If you do get caught with drugs or oh. stuff like that, but it still does exist and it still does happen to foreigners. So just wow. be very... No to drugs. No, do, not do, it. do not do it. And a good tip after personally watching quite a few Bank of Abroad episodes uh -huh. is if you are wrongly accused, do not sign anything and wow. make contact with your embassy and find a lawyer mm. fast. I've signed one single thing, even if they do with your finger or phone. Number two is <laughs> What does that? Makes sense. A couple of videos back about standing on money. Actually, it is against the law to stand on money here in Thailand. So it's, that it makes sense. Wrong, so do not stand on any money. You should not do that in any country. You shouldn't stand on money or burn money. It's like a mistake. You're not going to be arrested for it. But if you blatantly just took out some notes and just started stamping all over them in the middle of the street like a nutter, then, and the police saw you, then, yeah. You're going to get arrested. Uh, drinking alcohol in Thailand. Can you guess what the age is? Can you? 28. It's 20. 20 years old to what? drink alcohol in Thailand. I bet you didn't know that one. I said 28. That That's a big Before number. Is passport or sort of ID. It is a legal requirement here in Thailand for all foreigners to carry their passport on them. This makes sense. How are you caught into the country legally? Yeah, um, it makes sense. Do not carry my passport everywhere I go, but I have laminated my picture page and I keep that with me at all times. Ah, okay. This is a big one. So if you do sort of rent a car or rent a bike here in Thailand, mm. a lot of the time they do ask you to hand over your passport so they have like an insurance that you will give the bike or the car back. What? I would personally recommend not doing that and keeping your passport to and wow. You do want so a large amount of money. That is what I know you do a deposit for rental of vehicles. Or some sort of other ID. Because somebody could so frame your um you use your like your card for sabotage. You your, card, your passport for sabotage. You have to be careful. Like a weird one. If you go commando in Thailand, it is actually against the law. So, boys and girls, remember the underwear. Well, why would you walk yeah. naked? It's why illegal everywhere. And why would a foreigner go to a foreign place and decide to go commando or walk naked in the streets or wherever? Leave your clothes on you. Yeah, it's nudity. It's, you will be charged anyway. Really? Now you see these signs at the airport when you arrive in Thailand and it's quite a major one so do not do this and that is do not buy anything with Buddha's face on like a little Buddha statue or artwork with Buddha on or religious artwork or even like religious antiques you are not allowed to take them out of Thailand unless you have a permit that wow. allows you to do so and the majority of time going to have a permit so please do not take anything with buddha religious or antiques out of thailand would go so wow in case, that's go, go, that's a serious go, one i didn't know that one. oh i would not expect that one so obviously a lot of yeah don't litter Fine. I read it can be around ten thousand baht the fine for 
so wow. you turn them out on the road or the path, so do not do that. Yeah. Number nine, so when you fly into Thailand, your passport gets stamped and you have your date of when you have to leave Thailand. Yeah. And if you go over that date and you're caught out in the street and the policeman asks to see your passport and you've uh, gone over your did. date, Yeah, it makes sense. Um, if you are at the airport and you've overstayed and you have a flight ready to go and you're leaving, you will be fined 500 baht for every day that you overstay. Or <laughs> wow. you can get away with it if you are at the immigration office ready to extend your visa. I mean, if you're a day or two over, I don't think that that's strict. But if you are like 30 days over, mm. I can see them getting a little bit arsy with you if you have over. Yeah, that is a long time to overstay when you're coming to someone's country. Just go and update it or... or. Like rude and vulgar. If you're coming over with a group of mates, don't sort of be chanting in the streets or anything like wow. that. Wow. the bars. Just be chilled, man. You're here on holiday. Just have a few quiet Yeah, it makes sense. Some good music and have a good laugh. I mean, you can be noisy, but if you start chanting and sort of trying to like wrestle with each other and stuff like that, the Thais really aren't going to appreciate that. Wow. Good to know. I love this video request. Thank you so very much. Ten laws in Thailand to be aware of. Wow. Okay guys, so I've got one law that I came across and it's to do with the king of Thailand. I understood that it's illegal or you could be charged or taken to court or even jailed if you speak negative or bad about the royal family in Thailand. Um, that's a good law if you ask me because it would make sense that you respect the highest person in authority because it has some people that just like to accuse you know people and there's this is good that there's a law to protect the highest personal authority against accusation and negative speaking and bad speaking or something to bring down the reputation of the royal family so i actually like that law but i was very shocked when i heard of that law that they can actually arrest you if you speak negative or if they get you in a position speaking negative or defaming or anything to bring down the royalty or royal family in Thailand. Thank you so very much for requesting this video. Don't forget like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to a video, don't forget, leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye guys.